definitely an important issue right there. And we're sticking with children. March is National Children's Dental Health Month, and the Hawaii Dental Service Foundation reminds the community about the importance of making oral health care a priority for our keiki so they can enjoy a lifetime of healthy smiles. And joining us this morning via Zoom is Dr. Gavin Uchida. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Is, tell us a little bit about why making sure our keiki are taking care of their teeth is just as important as all of us taking care of our teeth. That's right. Um, taking care of kids' teeth is very important and it's often overlooked. It's the case that the oral health of the child becomes the oral health of that adult. So um, at Hawaii Dental Service and the, the industry as a whole, we want to promote parents and grandparents to take their children to the dentist and to remember to care for children's teeth just as much as you would care for your own teeth. I know some may think, you know, when it comes to children's teeth, they're just going to fall out, you know, and they're going to get their grown up teeth in. Why is that a bad way to look at it? That's, that's true. It's a common, it's still a common misperception that, oh, they're baby teeth, so we don't need to worry about them. But there are actually three good reasons why baby teeth are really important and why problems with baby teeth should be tended to. Uh, the first is a short-term reason, and that's that cavities and problems on baby teeth can cause pain and can cause infection. So in the short term, we don't want our keiki to be suffering and losing attention in school and suffering pain when they don't need to. So um, in the short term, it should be taken care of. In the long term, though, the long long-term health of your physical body is linked to the health of your teeth and the, the status of your baby teeth becomes the status of your permanent teeth. Uh, it's easy for cavities to transfer from tooth to tooth just as they can transfer from person to person. And then finally, we want kids to go to the dentist because uh, relationship building is so important and a child who becomes comfortable and happy going to the dentist will become an adult who's comfortable and happy going to the dentist too. That's very interesting information right there. I don't think I realize, you know, cavities being able to transfer from tooth to tooth. So if you're getting those, you know, adult teeth in, you have a cavity on one of those baby teeth. But the Hawaii Dental Service started a program called Dentist by One. Is Can you tell us about mm -hmm. that program and why it's important? I, I have a feeling it's tying in with a lot of what we've already talked about. That's right. Well, it, it should be really called um, uh, dentist for everybody at all ages because we want all people to go to the dentist. But uh, for the Dentist by One program, it's an attempt to remind parents and grandparents of how easy it is to set up a dental appointment and that they should pay attention to uh, going to the dentist and bringing their child to the dentist by one. The formal recommendation is at one is the latest you should go to the dentist, but as soon as your child or your baby begins to have teeth, it could be as early as six months or maybe even a little earlier, you should go visit the dentist by then. So we have some referral resources and we're trying to remind parents to take their kids to the dentist. As on that note, you know, what is the best way for parents to find a dentist for their children? Is it as simple as maybe taking them to your own dentist or do you have to go to a pediatric dentist kind of, you know, and you're looking at going to the doctor? That's a great question. Uh, going to your own dentist certainly is a start or asking around within your own social network. Uh, dental visits are supposed to be positive relationship experiences. So go with the people that you already know and that you already trust. But some families may need some additional help. So uh, at HDS, we have some island specific maps that show providers that take babies, including Quest providers. That's available at hawaiidentalservice.com slash dentist by one. We also have a provider database that if you go to HDS website and you click find a dentist, you can uh, easily be linked up with somebody in your neighborhood. And then finally, uh, especially those with Quest can call CCMC or Community Case Management Corp. 7921070. All of those or go to your normal dentist that you already know. Those are all resources available. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Uchida. Tons of great information there. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. We'll have all of those resources that Dr. Uchida just mentioned on our website, KITV.com, a little later today. We're off for a break. We'll be right back with a look at your top stories.